Hello, my name is Juan. I'm with Dake Corporation, and today we're going to talk about our BM70A pipe and tube bender. Now we've taken the crate off the machine, and we're going to open these boxes and get to the setup process. But before we do that, you want to make sure you locate this instruction manual. You want to read, follow, and understand everything in this manual, as well as follow all safety precautions. Okay, so these boxes came with a machine, and in this box here, you're gonna see some accessories here, and we'll, we'll get to that later here. So first, we're gonna go through this box. Um, these are some parts that are permanently put on the machine. So I'm gonna take these out, lay them out, and we'll go through each one. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install these handle rods with knobs onto the vise. Okay, next we're going to install the quick positioning lever. We're going to thread on the knob on the end here and then we're going to go install it in the machine. Now this has two different places you can thread this in. This feature helps you lock your pipe or tube in place. Okay, we have two different outlet shafts. We're going to install the smaller one first. The shaft is machined to fit perfectly on this area, all you have to do is line it up and set it in place. Next, we're going to install the pin, bushing, and interval ring on the shaft. First, we'll install the interval ring right over the shaft, like so. Then we're going to slide the pin in with the bushing attached to the hits bottom. Then from here, we're going to thread the pin in. All right, so we opened up the second box. This box has accessories for the machine. It comes equipped with uh, two rollers, a former, a ring. Uh, we are gonna need these two pins for the rollers to install, so we're gonna grab these. The rest of the items on here, don't need at this time. Okay, so we're gonna install our rollers first. So we're gonna take the roller, put it in the front position on the block here, enter the pin. Good to go there. Take your second one on the other side. Install the pin. And you're ready to go with that. Now I want you to be aware that there are set screws here. We're not going to use them at this point, but you want to make sure they're out of the way so you can slide your pin in nicely. Okay, next we're going to install the former. The only way to install this is to take the shaft, turn it in a counterclockwise motion until it stops. Then you grab the former with the pin facing your direction, set it right over the shaft, and you're good to go. All right, next we're going to install this one inch Schedule 40 pipe. You attach it to the former with the ring, and then you lock it down with this lever here, and you're set to go. So you wanna make sure your vice lock is fully engaged, but you don't want it to be super tight. You wanna give it some room to return back to its home position after the bend. Okay, next we're gonna turn on the machine. First, we wanna make sure the e-stop is disengaged by just turning that like that. And then we're gonna get down to the on switch, flip it on like so. Now, if you don't see power come onto your machine, chances are you'll have to swap two legs on your connector. Okay, for this test, we just loaded a random program for a simple bend. In order to activate the machine, you're gonna to have to simultaneously push these two buttons together at the same time and then release it when it's done. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions on this machine or any other of our Dake products, please visit us at dakecorp.com or call us anytime.